All right, so another example of finding a uh, Taylor series here, or in this case, um, you know, so we're going to find the Taylor series for f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x centered at x equals 0. So we could also just call this a Maclaurin series. Okay, so again, a Maclaurin series is just a special case of a Taylor series. So same thing as before. Again, I always kind of write it out generically. So let's do that here. Um, so again, centered at 0, so we'll have f of 0 plus f prime of 0 over 1 factorial x to the first, f double prime of 0 over 2 factorial x squared, and then maybe one more, f triple prime of 0 over 3 factorial x cubed, and then dot, dot, dot. So I'm going to start off by taking derivatives. So I'm going to write 1 over 1 plus x as 1 plus x to the negative first power. So let's see, our derivative, I guess we would get negative 1 times 1 plus x to the negative second. Our second derivative, let's see, we would have positive 2 times 1 plus x to the negative 3. Our third derivative we could multiply this out, but I'm not going to. Um, we would have a negative. Notice we would have 3 times 2. And then we would have 1 plus x to the negative 4th. Uh, then I'm going to do at least one more, so the 4th derivative. We would now have a positive. But then we would have 4 times 3 times 2. And then 1 plus x to the negative 5th, etc. So a lot of times I don't multiply things out just because I think it's a little bit easier to see a pattern. So, all right, well, let's plug in our numbers. Um, so f of 0, we'll just get 1 to the negative first, which is 1. f prime of 0, again, we'll get 1 to, you know, in the parentheses we're going to get 1 to an exponent, but 1 to any exponent is just 1. So all we're going to be left with are the coefficients. So we'll get negative 1 f double prime of 0, that's going to be positive 2. f triple prime of 0, that's going to be negative 3 times 2. And then the fourth derivative at 0, it looks like we'll have positive 4 times 3 times 2, etc. So the reason why I don't multiply things out is, you know, it looks like to me... Uh, we're getting things involving factorials, right? So this is 4 factorial, 3 factorial. Yeah, there's a negative in there, but we can deal with that. 2 factorial. The next one, we would get a 5 factorial. So let's see. If we start filling in our formula, it says f of 0 would be 1. Then we would have f prime of 0, which is negative 1 over 1 factorial times x. Let's see, f double prime of 0, that's going to be 2 over 2 factorial, x squared. And then, let's see, we would have plus f triple prime of 0, that's going to be negative 3 times 2, I'm going to stick the times 1 in there as well, over 3 factorial, x cubed. Well, I think you can see the pattern, it's alternating. The next one would be positive, and then we would have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, over 4 factorial, x to the 4th. So notice the constants, uh, or our, our values in the numerator, are always going to cancel out with the factorial. So it looks like we're going to be left with just 1 minus x. Well, 2 over 2 factorial, that cancels, so we'll have plus x squared. Um, we'll have negative, so the 3 times 2 times 1 and 3 factorial will cancel. So it looks like we're getting a nice uh, little simple formula here. So we could rewrite this as the summation from n equals 0 to infinity. Let's see, I think we can use x to the n power, because when we plug in 0, we'll get you know x to the 0, which is a constant. We'll get x to the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, etc. We need to deal with the fact that it's alternating, so I'm going to stick a negative 1 to the n power, and then I just check if it works. If we plug in 0, we'll get negative 1 to the 0, which is positive. Um, if we plug in n equals 1, we'll get negative 1x. And hey, that is also correct. So this would be now our um, Taylor, or in this case, Maclaurin series representation for our original function.